Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing a tarot card reading, a pick a card reading, and we're asking the question, how do I best improve my current situation? So we have four tarot decks here. We have here option one, and we have option two, and we have option three, And option four. Please go ahead and make your selection and you can go directly to the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we are asking the question, how do I best improve my current situation? How do I best improve my current situation? And so we're doing the speaker card to ask that question. Okay, so if you've chosen the first option, the question we're asking in this reading is how do I best improve my current situation? And we have some pretty great cards here. It doesn't seem very difficult to be able to improve your, your current situation. We have the Nine of Cups, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Four of Wands. And I think the meaning here is basically to feel grateful, to feel happy for what you have already to feel excited about what you have already and to be able to feel grateful for all that you have. It's very much a manifestation energy. These first two cards, uh, which are here in the upright position, both the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups, is very much uh, manifestation energy because the first card is talking about really being able to feel joy and excitement for all that you have and all that you're looking forward to having. It's almost like this feeling of, being excited before you even have something and having that feeling as if you already have it and um, just having that absolute joy and blissful feeling of being able to have what you need and what you have and and all that you have around you and as well as being excited for that which you don't have as yet but which you know is within your grasp and within your reach and then what you have with the ten of cups is this feeling of being able to be grateful and acknowledge the role that others play in your life as well, to be able to acknowledge the relationships and the value that those relationships have in your life and how it is that you are able to continue your life with the support of others and with the with their contributions to your life as well, whether it be monetary or whether it just be in terms of love and your relationships or, or friendships or just simply support in some way or the other. Now, I think here, in terms of how do I best improve my current situation, what they're talking about is just feeling that gratitude, feeling that bliss, feeling that joy, just being able to tap into that. So if you have been having any feelings of lack or have been having any feelings of um, of being dissatisfied on some level or frustrated on some level, then this these cards here, this combination of cards here, these first two cards, are talking about just eradicating that, getting rid of that, finding a way out of that, and just making sure that those thoughts, those feelings that you have that might be of frustration, that might be of dissatisfaction, of feeling um, incomplete in some kind of way, that you remove that from your space and from your consciousness at least for the time being. Feeling dissatisfied, feeling frustrated can be useful at times, but right now, if you are to improve your current situation, the best thing to do is to look at all that you currently have, all that you feel grateful for, and to be able to celebrate that, to be able to really put your energy behind that and, and just feel really happy for all that you have, even though it might be difficult for you to do that right now. I feel like if these kind of cards have come up for you, you're probably struggling to do that at this moment. All right, and then the last card here is the Four of Wands. Now, this card has a slightly different energy. It's talking about how you can possibly begin something, how you can possibly look forward to building something up, and you could possibly look forward to some sort of settling or some sort of um, manifestation of something or consolidating something, just bringing something from the realm of ideas into the realm of being and being able to have the assistance that you need to be able to uh, accomplish that. 
and it's talking about being free to dream about something that you might want to have but you're afraid that you aren't able to have so um I feel here the other solution to best improving your current situation is to actually allow yourself to dream and to plan as to how you're going to go about achieving this one particular thing that you're looking forward to having, but you're a bit unsure about how you're going to have it. And the card that comes up here, it's showing me that this four of wands, it's showing me that as you come to that point of being able to manifest and create what it is that you desire in your life, what's going to happen is that you're going to have the support that you need come into your life. You're not necessarily are able to see that at this moment, but you will be able to find that this support comes into your life. And so just be open to that and being also open to the support coming from ways and and places that you won't necessarily have expected it from or you're not necessarily... Um, excited by the prospect of accepting support from those particular areas so the card here or this these combination of cards are saying to me well just feel grateful and be be open-minded about where it is that you're going to receive the support and also be willing to accept the support because it is actually what you need to be able to improve your current situation so i'm just going to look at this and see if there's anything else here for you Well, I feel here, as the caption reads on the Four of Wands card, that it is important to be able to uh, begin that process, to begin to plant those seeds. And um, you have a vision of what what it is that you want. And it might not be it, that you're able to achieve it immediately, but it is possible, it is necessary rather, to begin that process and to, to bring those those ideas that you have from the realm of ideas into the realm of being and to begin in that process. And I think that is an important part of being able to improve your current situation. So even if you're not able to change it right now, even if you're not able to manifest immediately what it is that you desire, just to have that goal in mind and to work towards that um, on a regular basis, on a daily basis perhaps, is something that's going to help you to improve your current situation. All right, so I'm going to leave it there for you. I hope that this reading has helped you. It's a very positive reading. And I wish you all the very best as you go along at this time. Many blessings to you all. And so for those of you who have chosen the option number two, are we asking the question, how do I best improve my current situation? What is it that I can do to improve what is going on in my life at this moment? And so here we have the Two of Wands reversed and the Prince of Hearts reversed and the King of Swords uh, upright. So if you know me, um, you know that I read tarot cards in the reversed position as well, but I don't do that with Lenormand or with uh, other, other cards like the Kepa cards. So here we have uh, the Two of Wands reversed and what these cards, this combination of cards is telling me right now is that when you have the Two of Wands reversed, it's as if there is a goal that you have, it's somewhere that you want to be at, perhaps you want to be with someone and it's an unrealistic uh, goal at this moment. So it is perhaps possible sometime in the future but right now it's not the moment to concentrate upon uh, on it it also shows me here that there's quite a lot of energy expended with regard to this focus or this goal that you have uh, that's uh, shown here at the two of wands reverse so it's energy placed in the wrong place at the wrong time so it's not to say that what it is that you desire cannot be yours or it does, it's not to say that you can't achieve whatever it is that you have your goals or your eyes set on, but rather that this is not the right time for it. And it's the way in which you are um, concentrating on it or how much of energy you are spending on it is actually being lost in a way. And so I feel here that this, um, uh, with it, the reason I think it's a love situation 
is it doesn't have to be a love situation, but it could be a love situation for some of you at least. Uh, there is the Prince of Hearts reversed as well. And it feels to me like there's a chance that you might be uh, interested in somebody and showing yourself to somebody or trying to uh, gain their interest in you. It's as if you're trying to get them to fall in love with you or trying to get them to see how how suitable you are for them. And it seems here like this is, um, it's not really landing very well. It's not really landing in the way that you'd like to. So it's almost like in doing so, you might be pushing this person away. Now, if this is not a love situation, and this is just you having being focused on a particular goal that's not coming to fruition immediately, then I would say that the love or the desire or the obsession perhaps that you have for this particular area of your life, um, for this particular uh, thing that you devoted to, is actually something that once again it's misplaced and what what needs to happen here is that you need to concentrate on something else for a while or I would say rather bring some balance into your life because it doesn't mean you've got to stop concentrating on, on this or you, it doesn't mean you've got to stop focusing on this but rather bring some balance into your life by introducing other factors in your life. So if it is that you are trying to get the the love of someone then start to look at other people as well. Start to perhaps date other people or at least not just focus all your interest in one particular person. If it is a particular sport that you are invested in and you're not really making the headway that you'd like to make in that sport, then perhaps um, try a different sport just for the moment because this is not to say that it's not going to work out in your favor, but rather that the energy that you are placing on this is way too severe almost. It's, it's too obsessive in a way. And it's not really helping you. It's not the right time to focus on this. I would say that if it is with regard to a promotion or some work-related matter, something to do with work or your or your hobbies, or you're trying to get somewhere with it, and you have your mind fixed in this particular area, it's time to take a break from it and try something slightly different. Um, work perpendicular to it, work adjacent to it. And what you're going to find is that there is going to be progress made ultimately if you don't focus so hard on it. So here these cards are are also showing me that, you know, you have the King of Swords uh, here. And this card is basically saying, well, it's time to actually become very clear about what it is that you want and become very honest with yourself about what it is that's happening at this current moment. Be honest with yourself with what your chances are in this given situation, with what the feelings are of others around you, uh, with what your, you know, what your capacity is at this given moment with regard to something. So these cards also ring true for somebody who's uh, just started a new endeavor and they quite early on in their uh, new endeavor or their new hobby, but they're very ambitious and they're hoping to... Um, to do something wonderful and something great with this thing that they're doing. So I'll give you an example. It's as if you've, you've started illustrating uh, or painting and you feel like you could sell your painting um, for a lot of money or you could be, become a really uh, popular artist. And it's as if this card is saying, well, yes, you can, but hang on a second. It's not going to happen overnight. You still need to hone in on your craft. You need to spend a little bit more time on your craft. And this is not to say that you should give up your ambition or you should stop thinking about it, but you should be a bit more realistic, a bit more, uh, have your feet on the ground, a, a bit more real with yourself with regard to where you're at and how much of progress you've made until now and how much of work is still necessary to get to where you need to be to be. And if this is a love situation, I would say that it is possible that somebody has shown you a bit of affection or shown you some kind of um, interest and you've um, imagined it to be much more than it is. And so the King of Swords in this situation is saying, well, hang on, take a step back. This person 
it is true that this person has shown some interest in you, but it's not at the, at the level at which you are investing in it, or it's not at the level at which you are pouring all your love into it. So take a step back, see it for what it is, and cool off a bit. And not to say that you need to be aloof or detached in any way, but just cool off a little bit with whatever it is that you're very heavily invested in. And so that is the way to currently, or to best improve your current situation. That is the way to best improve um, your situation at this moment with regard to love or where it be um, a hobby or something with regard to work or um, whatever it is, a sport that you're pot potentially involved in. You just need to uh, bring yourself a little bit more into balance, see things as they are, and uh, just continue doing what you're doing but you need to just take the heat off a little bit all right so i'm going to leave you with that message i hope it resonates and that helps you as you go along i'm sure that's not what you wanted to hear what you've come here to hear but those are what the cards are showing me at this moment and i hope they they do help you and i wish you a very blessed time ahead And so if you've chosen the third option here, uh, we are asking, well, how do I best improve my current situation? How do I best improve my current situation? So here we have the cards, the chariot, the fool, the knight of cups, and they are all upright. And these are quite serious messages. These are quite um, almost, I almost want to say severe messages. And it's the, it's the complete opposite of what the previous uh, option was. Um, it's very much about going ahead, making, taking action, maintaining your balance while taking action. Uh, going ahead, um, take, taking action is really highlighted here because it's almost saying, well, don't hesitate. Just go ahead. Go ahead and do whatever it is that you've been thinking about, that you've been planning about, that you've been mulling about, but you haven't necessarily had the courage to, to, to take the action. And, you know, if you have a reason that you haven't taken action, like you don't have the resources or you don't have the support, etc., this card is saying, well, regardless of that, take action anyway, because you're going to find that as you go ahead, this energy... Uh, what they're telling you about is going to help you. It's going to like steamroll you through and it's going to help you to iron out any obstacles and just uh, lay out a path for you so that you can actually achieve whatever it is that you want to. And so uh, the, the what you need to do right now is just simply charge ahead, move ahead and once again, to take action. And that's what's going to improve your current situation. Now, they're saying that as you go along, the first thing to do is just to, to do that. Okay. And then as you go along, leave a bit of room for what is a bit more wacky, what is a little bit more eccentric, what is a little bit more uh, out of the box, something that you might want to, where you might want to take a different direction. So start off in a way in which you might want to do things in a more traditional manner, but leave room for doing things in a non-traditional manner a little bit later, perhaps in a more avant-garde uh, manner. It's also showing me that now is not the time for you to engage in any romanticism uh, of a particular idea or a goal that you have or what it is um, that you're doing. You need to just forge ahead. You need to put all your ducks in a row and move ahead and not actually think too much about how it is that you're going to enjoy it or, or what it is that you're going to be doing uh, exactly. But rather, the only thing to focus on here at this moment is to maintain balance. So charge ahead and maintain balance. And you might be in a situation where you have to make a decision and you have to go in, in one direction or the other and there's this, almost a sense here that if you don't need to make that decision right now, then you don't, then you shouldn't. That you should just perhaps wait a little while and make that decision a little bit later, because you might find that you um, you have more options later. And so right now, what what's necessary to do is just to charge ahead, just to move ahead, and 
later on, there will come a chance for you to be more creative in how you go about doing things or how you go about adjusting whatever you've done already. And then, you know, at the end of it, we have the, the Knight of Cups. And I, what I'm seeing here is that right now is a time of hard work and really putting your all into it. And then later you'll have a time for some kind of creativity, but movement in that creativity, just being able to um, do things a little bit differently, perhaps introducing new ideas um, to the world or, or um, approaching a dilemma that you might have a little bit differently. You might be able to look back and look at what you've done until then, um, made, uh, look at your progress until then, and then be able to, to say, well, you know, I could have done things differently, but what is important is that right now that you make um, that move, okay? I can't emphasize that enough. What I do see coming along later with this Knight of Cups is that there's going to be a chance for you to be able to sit back and enjoy and just to be able to look at how far you've come and look at what you've done and the amount of effort that went into what you've done. And you're going to be able to drink from that nectar uh, and, and just enjoy that and just you know, you won't have to be always taking this huge action or always working so hard under very challenging circumstances. But there, are, there is going to be a time where you're going to have a reprieve. You're going to have this time off to um, just relax and enjoy what it is that you have been uh, perhaps slaving away at or, or really struggling hard to turn the tide on. There's definitely a sense here where there's a sense of victory that's coming up in the future. And even though while you might need to take some pretty drastic action right now, you might need to actually move things in a way that would be making others uncomfortable. You might need to be quite pig-headed about the way in which you go about uh, taking the actions that you do right now. There is a almost a guaranteed sense of success at the end, or a guaranteed sense of satisfaction, a feeling of having what it is that you desire. And so, you know, if I had to apply this to a particular course of action, I would say that if you are living in a situation which is not optimal at the moment, then this is an advice that here that encourages you to make a move, to get out of your circumstances. And it might not be that you immediately land into the, in the house of your dreams or in a space where you actually want to live. It might be that you need to... Um, step back a bit. It might be that you need to do things a little differently. Maybe you wouldn't be living in a home that is up to your standard um, immediately, but that ultimately you will be comfortable, you will be where you want to be, and you will be find yourself in a, in a state that you actually want to be. And I don't feel like it will be very long um, off either. And if it's a situation which is, you know, a work situation, or let's just say that you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get an idea or something going off the ground, the advice here is to actually take that action right now. Get it off the ground. It doesn't matter that it's not ready. It doesn't matter that you haven't done all that you need to get done. Uh, the Here, the advice is to just get going with it. And what's going to happen is that you will find that it can be a little bit wobbly as you go along, but now is the time to actually begin and now is the time to, to get on with it. And later on, you are going to find satisfaction. You are going to feel and find that you have been successful at what it is that you've been doing. And I think that, you know, if it is a love situation, I think that you need to stand your ground here a little bit. And you could, right now at least, you need to stand your ground here with whatever it is that you're doing. You need to continue doing that and maybe do it a little bit more forcefully or a little bit more intently I would say not necessarily forcefully but rather a little bit more intently and it seems like um, you know there's going to be time for for fun there's going to be time for lightness a little bit later on but right now it's almost like you need to set the rules as far as this is concerned and there is an opportunity for you to have success in this love as well all right so i'm going to leave it there and i hope that has been helpful it's a little bit abstract but I, I feel like the most important message as i highlighted right at the beginning of this is that you really need to take action and and do it uh, as soon as possible and that is how you're going to be able to improve your your current situation so good luck with that and i'm wishing you all the best and many blessings and for those of you who've chosen the last option here the fourth option 
we're asking the question, how do I best improve my current situation? How do I best improve my current situation? So for those of you who've chosen the fourth option, we have here the Ten of Pentacles reversed, we have the Three of Cups reversed, and we have the card of the Prince of Swords. So here we have a situation where I feel the, the most important message here is for you to actually talk about what's actually been going on. Now you might need to confront somebody you might need to address a particular situation and you might need to do it quite soon because the way in which I read these cards, the way in which I see the situation is that you won't be able to be, to be, you won't be able to profit from a situation. You won't be able to have any of the joy that's due to you, that's, that's deserved uh, until you've spoken up about a particular situation that might be on your mind or it might be a certain injustice. It might be something where you feel you've been done wrong or somebody has been done wrong and you need to actually say something about it. It might be not that um, anyone has been done wrong, but rather that something should have been done a particular way and it wasn't and there could have been a, a different way of having done it, a different procedure or a different mechanism used. And there needs to be something said about it. And it feels here to me that whatever your situation is, Wherever it is that you feel you need to speak up, it's important to be able to do it. Now, you might feel like you can't speak up. You might feel like you don't have the right to speak up or you, whatever you're going to say is not going to be well received and therefore you should not speak up. But I see here that until you've actually spoken up, until you've actually said your piece, you said what it is that you need to say in order to, to release it, in order to let go of it, you won't be able to... to, to kind of progress in your life so it's almost like you can't enjoy the fruits of your life unless you've said what it is that you need to say now I think that there are many ways in which one can go about expressing how you feel so the way in which you know a direct method of just speaking up your mind and saying what is on your mind might not actually work in this set of circumstances it might be that you will need to um couch your words differently or you might need to express your ideas in a different medium perhaps not through words perhaps not by talking to somebody but by showing them something or by um you know making a video about it or um whatever the way is what is advised here is not to talk to them about it directly but it is advised to get it off your chest it is advised to actually make mention of it but not necessarily to do it in a way that is going to upset uh, people, it's going to ruffle a few feathers because that's not going to work well for you either. Now it might be that that is your hesitation in actually speaking up and you might be quite um, uh, uh, perturbed by the idea of actually speaking up about whatever it is that you need to, but I think that if you don't it's going to be to your detriment in the long term and it's, you need to really do that at this moment. You need to actually find a way, be creative about it, uh, find a way and, and go ahead and say what it is that is on your mind and what has been upsetting you or hurting you um, over a period of time or has, has um, made you feel uncomfortable in some way or form. Now, if you go ahead and you actually talk about what it is that you, that's on your mind or has been weighing you down, if you uh, make mention of what needs to be made mention of, then you're going to find that you, you'll be unblocked. Okay, so it almost seems as if this is the only thing that's blocking you from making headway in your situation, from improving your life, from being able to reap the benefits of the seeds that you've sowed, or being able to um, allow your reputation to be free, or your legacy to... Um, be kind of um, realized and it seems here that there there is much abundance and there is much uh, joy that awaits you and there's 
some kind of interaction that could also await you that is necessary for your well-being and for your health and and just to be to be healed and in order to do that you need to speak your mind about whatever it is that has been bothering you i think that somehow you not speaking about this thing that is needing to be spoken about it's actually just putting a plug on everything in your life it's holding back all the abundance that can flow your way all the goodness that can come your way all the blessings that are waiting to be to fall upon you and it seems here that there is a lot that's waiting there's a lot that you can look forward to you know there's a lot in terms of just simple social interaction and joy and being appreciated and being in in company which you appreciate and i think there's also a sense here that you can develop something that's ultimately going to impact your legacy you can develop something here that that something that comes out of this whole thing is going to uh, be a long lasting um achievement for you and not just that but something that you feel really satisfied with and really proud of and you feel like you've you've done your your work here by um by doing that but all of these things are kind of blocked by the fact that you aren't able to to speak up or until now that you haven't been able to to speak up about something and i think that it's really necessary to to think about this and find a way to be able to say what is on your mind um so that you can actually make that progress and you can actually move ahead i also get the sense here that it's really difficult to be able to appreciate how much you've done until now or what it is that you've done until now and and how all of that fits into your life at this moment it's really difficult at this moment to be able to appreciate all the things that you've done all how far you've come and i think that it's necessary to be able to tap into that it's necessary to be able to acknowledge all of that and to be able to see you know the efforts that you've made until this point to get to where you are at and um i think that that is part of improving your current situation but once again it the feeling i get here is that it's difficult to appreciate yourself right now because you know you need to speak up about something it's like it's on your weighing on your conscience you know and you you need to to speak up about it so that you can get it out of the way and it might be something small for some of you you know for different people it's going to mean different things um the feeling i'm getting here like for one of you i think um you might have had a something that you've needed to say to somebody some somebody's upset you in some kind of way and you haven't spoken about it and even though it's happened months ago a couple of months ago um it's still weighing on you and you haven't been able to actually make headway as a result and this person is actually really important for you in terms of um being able to to make headway in your life being able to to make progress in terms of your work in terms of uh, creating a wealth in your life in terms of where you will ultimately settle even perhaps and i think that um this is somehow holding you back uh, you need to actually just let go of whatever it is that's been upsetting you speak to this person and and get that out of the way so that you can actually progress and it's almost like this whole thing this whole your whole life is waiting for you to to speak about whatever it needs to be spoken about and then to move on from it now is there a chance that you can move beyond this without speaking to that person well i think there could there could be you know but i think it's something that you need to resolve in yourself at least at the very least so think about how it is that you can get beyond that situation in your life in order to be able to um break uh, this dam that's uh holding back your riches and your wealth and your well-being and i mean that not in a literal sense but in more in terms of uh, an energetic sense as well um uh, although the you know it does come with that it does come with material well-being as well but there's also like a kind of spiritual blockage as a result of not being able to speak your mind in this a particular sense all right so i'm going to leave it there and i hope that that has been a helpful reading i hope that this message can actually assist you as you go ahead and let me know down in the comment section how you found this 
I really do appreciate it when um, when people comment. It really helps the channel as well, and it would um, it's worth you know it makes it worth my while uh, making the effort to make these videos. And then if nobody comments, nobody says anything. It's kind of like why I, why am I even doing this? And so um, yeah, it would be nice if you did actually comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, well, please do if you want more of these type of videos. And uh, I usually don't make these kind of shout outs to to people, but I feel like doing it here. So anyhow, I wish you all very well and um, many blessings. Look after yourselves, all of you. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.